Hey, good morning, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm. I thought I would do a video blog this morning focusing on the heat and also the threat for some heavy, gusty storms later today. This is a late day issue with the threat for severe weather. Most of the daylight hours today, the story is indeed the heat. So we have a warm front that is pushed off toward north on the weather map this morning. This is what's responsible for the increase in humidity today, but also you may have heard a random clap of thunder in some spots overnight. We had a couple of random showers and thunder showers overnight uh, last night. But yeah, the warm front uh, is pushing to our north and boy, you can feel it this morning. If you've ever taken a vacation in, oh, Miami or, or Orlando, uh, this is what it feels like when you step outside in the morning. Uh, we have temperatures in the mid 70s, dew points. These are the dew points in the upper 60s and lower 70s. It really feels soupy out there this morning. And this very juicy air mass will be invaded, if you will, by a pretty strong cold front later on today. That front is out across the Midwest right now. It's already producing some heavy storms in parts of Illinois this morning, and it will march east and start lifting that very warm, humid, unstable air mass. And it's going to be a pretty big, severe weather day, I think, uh, for areas off to our west during the daylight hours today. So let's let's talk about what's going on with the heat first. If your job requires you to exert yourself outside, if you're a runner, if you're training for something, boy, today's just a day to take the weather seriously. Uh, sometimes we have hotter, more humid summer days, but not many are hotter and more humid than this in Northeast Ohio and Northwest PA. These numbers can be a little bit hard to see, but uh, basically heat index values today around 95. Uh, that's significantly higher than yesterday. The actual temperature won't be much different than yesterday, but it's much more humid today. So that means the heat index can get into the mid-90s, and that just means that you need to take frequent breaks and stay hydrated. If you know someone that does not have air conditioning, especially if they're a little older, check in on them, make sure they're doing okay today. Maybe if you have air conditioning, offer them uh, your cooler uh, air for a little while uh, today, because it's going to be one of those days that's going to be a little bit tough on sensitive groups. All right, the Storm Prediction Center, uh, with their 2 a.m. update for Today, their severe weather outlook, they upgraded the severe weather outlook for parts of northwest Ohio, southeast Michigan, extreme northeast Indiana. Now it's a moderate risk of severe weather for those regions today. And, you know, this gets to be something that we only see a few times a year, a moderate risk in parts of uh, our region. A moderate risk, if you think of a, the, the severe weather scale, the risk scale, as a one to five scale, moderate is kind of a four out of five. So, yeah, we don't have many of these kinds of days per year. We're not in the moderate risk around here, and I don't think we ever will be, but a level three or an enhanced risk extends about to I-77, includes Cleveland and Akron, and then most of our area is in the yellow, which is the slight risk. Now, I don't want you to split hairs too much on these risk categories. The bottom line for us today is that while the overall severe weather risk is probably higher to our west, it's still elevated enough here locally this evening that we want you to be weather aware. Let's time this out. Again, daylight hours today, I think largely dry. Now, right around dinner time, even though this model is pretty quiet, I'm not going to be shocked if we have a, a random thunderstorm or two right around maybe 6, 7 o'clock. Uh, but that's going to be kind of the exception. Most of us will be dry. This is our main line of storms. This storm, this line of storms may have embedded supercells in it. There may be embedded uh, tornadoes within that line in places like Lima, uh, Detroit, Toledo, maybe Sandusky, heading down towards Dayton, Wilmington uh, as well. And as this uh, progresses east, of course, the, the clock has stopped here uh, right around sunset, around 9 p.m. You start losing the daylight. You start losing maybe the best ingredients for severe weather um, as this line pushes east. Now, that being said, there's a lot of wind energy in the atmosphere today. So even though this is going to be after dark and after kind of the peak time of the day that we think of for typical severe weather, because there's so much wind energy to be grabbed by these storms and pulled down, uh, that's why our, our risk is still elevated around here, even though it's higher to our west. So again, timing this out, this model has our line coming through right around 11 o'clock this evening, midnight. It's uh, somewhere around the region, maybe pushing into western PA, and then the show is easily over by 1 a.m. This could be pretty quick. I mean, in most locations in your, in your neighborhood, uh, the line of storms may be only around for... 20 minutes, half an hour at the most. So that's one model. Here's a look at another high-res model showing, again, something random might pop this afternoon, but the main line, uh, shown to be a little more disorganized on this model, uh, comes through uh, sunset and, and after this evening. This is 11 o'clock this evening showing that threat 
is still there, even though maybe in a little less organized fashion than the other model I showed you uh, would, would have it. When we talk about the uh, tornado risk across the region today, it's definitely higher to our west, uh, mostly focused on late afternoon, early evening. You'll notice as I roll this uh, model forward right around 5 p.m., yeah, with that line pushing through the I-75 corridor in western Ohio, there could be some embedded tornadoes with that. But as the line pushes east, you'll notice those colors become more muted. They don't become totally muted. The tornado risk around here is not zero this evening, but it is lower than for our neighbors to the west. So we have a lot to keep track of today. We're going to keep you updated, of course, on social media, on the 21 Storm Tracker app, uh, and on wfmj.com slash weather. Make sure you have our app downloaded. Make sure you have the alerts turned on. Make sure you have multiple ways of getting alerts, especially if you go to bed early, if your job requires you to uh, say goodnight pretty early, and you're going to be trying to sleep through these, make sure that uh, if severe weather, if, if dangerous weather is impacting our region, that you're going to be able to get those alerts um, uh, as we head through the late evening. So we've got you covered. We'll uh, have some updates throughout the day. In the meantime, have a great rest of your Wednesday, and thanks for watching.